All this stuff came out of the public domain dumpster of uh, DEA office. This video ran a little long, but there's not much I could cut out because it's basically just non-stop action. Just don't miss the end, a couple minutes where I explain all the prices and explain to you how much this stuff's worth. I hit quite a few dumpsters today and I scored a uh, little computer, little computer action. Cleaned up a microwave disposal. And look at this here, it's a 25 pound barbell. The thing's pretty sweet. And those things are about a dollar, worth about a dollar a pound. That's probably like 25, 26, 27 dollar deal. I could sell that to like a play it against sports for probably like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. But I, I actually have some 30 pound ones that are just a little too heavy for me. So that's actually something, <laughs> that's actually something exactly what I wanted. So, you know, that's, that's, that's a real nice score. I score some other stuff too. But uh, all this, the deal with all this insulated wire, and that's, that's real good stuff too. That's nice chunky wire. And the deal with all this wire is it came from a uh, DEA dumpster. The <laughs> and I didn't put it on camera because it was like one in the afternoon. And there was people going in and out this big, you know, iron gate. And, and I, I, I just didn't think it was probably a good idea to be digging in the DEA's garbage. <laughs> right in front of their entrance. So I, I, I grabbed all this stuff off the top real quick and just, and just left. But I noticed that there was a box that was just like this, the box that this came out of. It was in a cardboard box. And it was turned over on its side. And I saw more wires like this just peeking out the edge of it. So I'm going to go back right now at night. And it was a little bit buried. You know, I, I have to get in a dumpster and dig it out. And look at this here. Uh, it's like a dual band antenna. That's probably for one of their unmarked cars. I'm just guessing. That's kind of neat. And it's like, a, like an intercom system of some sorts in there. and Just a bunch of wire. I don't know. I'm not sure what the rest of the stuff's for. But... That's, that's a that's a great score. I mean, that's that might be 30 or 40 pounds of wire. That's big, big chunky, thick stuff. That's all number two insulated, but it's just it's a big chunky kind. So we'll go back there, and I'll see you there. All right. So here it is. I was here at one in the afternoon, and that parking lot was filled up, and this gate was open, and people were coming out. So I I didn't think it was a very good idea to. <laughs> to jump in here and dig stuff out. I, I mean, it's out in the public domain, so it's you know they're not going to put anything sensitive in here at all. But still, you know, and, and actually, I think I think this dumpster receives a lot of illegal dumping. Also, there's been a bunch more stuff thrown in here since I was here, so <laughs> it's going to be even more of a challenge now. I don't know if you can see down in there. wires peeking out see the wires down there and this box that they're in is just like the the box that the other stuff was in it was laying up here I think it's this one here it's all smashed now or this one anyway I think that whole box is gonna be full of stuff I see like a monitor down there and stuff too but I'm gonna strap the GoPro on my head and jump in there I oh, just gotta get out of here. I don't have room. Aha! 
Oh, look at that. I didn't even see it. Oh yeah, that's another box just like that Hearst box. That's good. Oh. What do we got here? Look at those gold pins. Some nice gold plated pins. Real nice gold plated pins. Put that in there actually <laughs> that way if someone comes by and tells me to leave i already have i already have that in my possession so that belongs to me now oh that's just that's just new stuff some of this is just not new stuff probably not every one of those mobile uh antennas that's probably very sellable stuff i'd imagine so that's, that's always a bonus. Brand new in the package, you know. Can't beat that. I'm just gonna take this whole box out of here. Make it quicker. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. I got, uh, I think it's tendonitis going bad, real bad in my right elbow. So I gotta be careful how I move and twist and stuff. I think it's a combination of driving my motorcycle and using my snips to cut wire. And maybe my computer mouse too has something to do with it. <laughs> That's just all, all the, the tendon in my forearm and the bone in my elbow just just killing me I and mean, it's not so bad except for uh, ouch oh <laughs> ouch oh ah oh. i just kicked my shin bone on the edge of that oh dang oh that's metal that's a metal case around that chalkboard or that marker board oh dang <laughs> oh. oh, look at that. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh. 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 I'll show you what that. <laughs> I'll show you what that looks like in about five minutes. Oh, that's not gonna be pretty. Oh, I hit that thing hard too. Right there, just solid. And it's square. It's a square angle in the corner of that dumpster. I mean, it's just. I just won't budge, just, oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot about my tendonitis. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, dang. That's one of the worst pains there is, really, as far as I'm concerned. Smashing your shin bone like that. Oh, that just sucks. That just <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, little camera. Well, nice little battery. Some nice gold plated contacts on there. If you have a way to get them off. A lot of the scrapyards where I live have stopped taking batteries like this altogether. I could probably send that off to somewhere like board sort though. It's a lithium. It's a lithium battery, so I should be similar to like a computer laptop computer battery so board sort should buy that some brand new tapes 
Ah, cell phone. That'll go to board sort. That's even got the charger and the phone number on the back. <laughs> it's scrap metal to me. Some more batteries. Not sure what kind those are. Oh, oh my shin bone's killing me. Oh, look at that mess. Oh. Big rubber bands. Oh. I have a feeling there's going to be more more wire in here. See, and my, my, my handheld camera, what I did to get rid of the wind noise, is I took, this is a piece of junk, but I took one of these ear pads off an earphone, and I taped, I taped that stuff over my microphone holes. It really works good. That's kind of an old one. Got some nice cords on it though. Oh, let me set that bad boy in there like that. Oh. That's the one. Oh yeah, definitely got some more stuff on there. Oh yeah. Heavy dude. I think it's a big motor in there. Look at that. Some hard drives. Uh, actually, I think that's a disc. Disc drive. Still got some nice, yeah, nice gold, gold plates on there, or nice gold plated teeth on there. That'll go to board sort. What are we dealing with in here? What kind of stuff? Not a big battery. Got my box right down here. Ah, some kind of charger. More gold plated stuff. I probably won't mess with that, but I'll definitely scrap the charger and the cord. I got here a tape recorder. <laughs> That's definitely some DEA kind of stuff. Probably getting people's confess confessions and stuff on there. <laughs> or or, or uh, recording people's phone calls and stuff. <laughs> Whoops. Who knows what could be on that tape? I'm certainly not going to find out. <laughs> I guess the tote like I use right there. All just smashed in there. I don't know why it's smashed like that. It shouldn't be that heavy.
who knows what might be in here really this this is a very good dumpster so far that was a good tote too i'd have taken that i still might take that too it might shape back out some heavy metal i know one thing i'm gonna use this tote for right now let's put stuff in This wires in the package. There's no telling what we might have in here. Look at this stuff. Look at this. Big old grip of aluminum. Old aluminum license place. All kinds of tapes. More batteries. More batteries. More batteries. Tape. Micro cassette tape player. All kinds of stuff. Probably for recording people and stuff. Under cover recording, that kind of stuff is the vibe I'm getting. All kinds of cassettes new in the package. Hey, you know what? Those micro cassettes might be worth a lot of money. Look at that. I'm gonna take all those. Look at that right there. Ten micro cassettes in each one of those things. We think factory sealed. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. What do you think? That's definitely worth some money. No doubt about that. Yeah, I'll take us other other junk that's been used out of here. There's no problem with taking that. I mean, that's factory sealed. There's no one's ever opened that up, so no problem at all taking this stuff. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Four, eight, twelve, twenty. Twenty packages of film. I don't know. People probably don't use that stuff anymore. Oh, wow. Look at that. More. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, it's just all over the place. You're kidding me. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen that much film in my years doing this, I can tell you that much. This is case after case after case after case. Fuji film, Kodak. More Kodak, Kodak. What's this kind? Fuji film. It's just all over the place. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I had a feeling this dumpster might get better, and it did. I'm sure some people still use this. For some people, this is probably really good, really good stuff. You know, I, it hasn't been too hot outside at all. So, that, I mean, it hasn't been too hot, it hasn't been too cold. So that film, that film is probably ready to go. Probably good stuff. All kinds of stuff coming out of here. <laughs> Cell phone battery. Bar. More batteries, batteries, remote controls. What's that? Big old light. Yeah, I'll leave that. <clears throat> Well, that's kind of nice though. It's recharged? No. Uh, oh. Look at that. <laughs> Case is brand new in the pack. Maxell. I gotta take those. They're probably not worth a whole lot. But they might be with somebody. Brand new factory seal. Uh, worth a try. Uh, 
Nice gold pin board on that printer. More wire. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to carry all this stuff. I'm just gonna leave this monitor here. That's just old. No one's gonna wanna buy that. I really not in the mood to go scrapping a monitor. Ugh. Even though it is heavy, but oh well. It's probably just got some little motors in there. Look at that. <laughs> it just keeps coming. It just, I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that right there. Look at that. Big chunky. Look at this. Big chunky stuff, man. <laughs> oh. Yuck. Gross. Get on there. Huh. Alright. That does it for that half of the dumpster. Let's see what we're dealing with over here. Well, there's a little box of wire. Get off of me. Kidding. <laughs> hair. Look at that. Another box of wire. Ugh. Actually, you know what? I will be able to carry all this because I might see this tote here. That's a nice tote. I can put that right on my lap and just fill it up with all that wire. So I'm going to be able to take every bit of it easy now. I was going to take every bit of it anyway, but I'll be able to take every bit of it easy now. Look at that. Look at that evidence gloves. <laughs> Factory sealed. DEA evidence gloves right there US Department of Justice Drug Enforcement Administration <laughs> oh look at that. all these are just evidence bags just a big grip of evidence bags look at that <laughs> hand sanitizer Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna take that home with me. I think that might be brand new, actually. Put that in my pocket. That didn't hurt nothing. Look at that, some kind of, look at that methamphetamine. MDMA, MDMA ecstasy. Break samples left to right. Look at this, uh, meth. Meth and ecstasy tester kit. 
What's this one? Look at this one. Cocaine. Look at that. Look at that cocaine testing kit. Another cocaine testing kit. Meth ecstasy testing kit. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. It's kind of interesting little mirror. What that's for? So take that with us. All right, so get rid of that. Get rid of that junk. I got myself a nice little tote. That's interesting. The things you can learn dumpster diving, isn't it? <laughs> You can learn all about society dumpster diving, I'll tell you that much. You know, I, I don't... I don't mess with anyone's personal information, but... You know, stuff like this isn't hurting anybody, so... I don't got a problem having fun with it, I don't know. circuit board action of course when I get a nice tote to put stuff in is when the <laughs> is when the dumpster runs dry on me let's see this is the last corner I haven't looked at yeah look at that <laughs> that's every 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 side and every corner of this dumpster produced produced wire and some other score of some sort. Oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. I just got a big snout full of dust. Take those batteries with me. Fresh batteries don't hurt. Put them in my pocket. Little earbuds. Little Sony earbuds. Those aren't bad. Headphones over right there. A little brass antenna. Oh, it's starting to rain out now. Oh no. Look at that more wire. getting rained on now uh oh I looked at the radar before I left and it wasn't supposed to do this hopefully it won't last long hopefully it's just a pop-up I think that's it I checked every bit of this dumpster I, ex I excavated every inch of this one and I I'm pretty sure I got everything. And this was a nice little payday. I'm not telling how much that's all worth. It depends on if I can sell that that film. That, that 35 millimeter film camera film. It depends if I can sell that. What's that worth? You know, I might, I might easily found. Look at that, more wire. I'm just walked right over it. Yeah, that, I, I easily might have just made a hundred dollars right there. I'm telling. I'm gonna shut the camera off and get this stuff together real quick. And I'll take it home and show you everything. I don't wanna spend any more time here. I'm gonna get out of here. All right, I made it home. And uh, that's what I call a double decker right there. <laughs> that's just packed full of stuff, packed full of that wire and that film and stuff. And then I. Had this other tote full of stuff. And there's a there's a giant storm. Just right just right over there somewhere. So 
since that was such a score just in one dumpster, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow in the sunlight and I'm gonna, I think that that score was worthy of a spread, so I'm gonna show it to you all tomorrow. And it's, it's just about to start pouring down rain out here. I don't know if you can hear that thunder and lightning. Well, I don't think you can hear lightning, but <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that thunder or not, but it's just, it's just, it's just right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. I was hoping I could get you a nice lightning strike. It doesn't seem to want to do it for me though. There's one a little bit. There's one. So there's the whole lot. And I have to stand about six feet back from the front just to fit it in a frame. <laughs> That's close to the most stuff I've ever got out of one dumpster. I don't know if you realize how much stuff is actually here. But <laughs> I looked. I didn't get the price on the internet of those antenna systems yet but over here I looked on eBay and these these cases factory sealed cases of micro cassettes are, are listed for forty dollars each so <laughs> and I have 22 cases of those so and, and they're a specific specific kind of micro cassette for interviews you know which also are really good for you know answering machines on phones and whatever but they're 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 a they're a high quality deal so there's 22 cases of those and at 40 bucks a pop that'd be 880 dollars worth of stuff and then over here all this film now this film has expired so that you know decreases the value but it can still be sold and there's stuff like this selling on eBay, expired stuff selling for like 30 bucks for, for a full case of the expired stuff. And I got two, four, six, eight, nine, almost nine cases of that. So that'd be about another $200, $250. And then those max sell tapes, all factory sealed case plus one. I don't know. Uh, there's a shot of those micro cassettes. I, I didn't see how much those are worth. They're probably not worth a lot, but they're they're a nice quality quality deal. So they're gonna be worth something. And all this wire is going to be. I'm just gonna guess it at about 60 pounds, yeah, maybe 70 pounds if I throw in all this stuff over here. And my scrapyard is now paying 60 cents a pound for insulated number two copper. So let's see, 60, 60 pounds. It'd be about 30, 36 bucks, give or take. And these antenna systems, it's factory sealed. I should have looked on the internet before I made this video, but I'll put some text on the screen right about now. <laughs> And see how much those are worth. Some other of these cords may be sellable, but at the very least, I'll scrap them for 60 cents a pound. And, and these these turned out to be sirens. I didn't know. I thought it was some kind of some kind of motor, but they're actually sirens. There's one, two sirens, three sirens. I don't know if they upgraded their whole electrical system in that place, which could be the reason for all these intercoms and sirens and stuff you know they might have, they might have redone their whole deal and uh you know I, I got these electronics with some nice gold plate that's those are great gold plate pins i started cleaning this stuff up and i showed you that one board earlier talking about how nice those gold plated pins were and there was a board directly under it this purple this reddish board that's just loaded with gold pins and look at that gold plated chips on there look at that i don't really see that many circuit boards with that kind of stuff on there i don't know maybe some of you guys out there know what that is i'm assuming those are some pretty high quality little chips and uh all these batteries have nice Real nice gold plate on them. 
I don't know if I'll actually get that off of there or not, but, but I'll definitely look into getting that and because those are nice, those are nice chunky pieces of gold plate. I might just leave it alone and just sell the batteries, but uh, some nice gold plate there. You couldn't really see it last night in the dumpster, so I figured I'd show it to you. And uh, three micro cassette recorders. Actually, I think that one's a normal size. That's a normal size cassette. Both those are normal size cassettes. That's a micro cassette there. License plates, a couple remote controls, old cell phone, a Purell. I'm keeping for myself. I'll put that over there. Get that out of there. Huh? So I guess that's about it. And then over here, just a bunch of tin. Yeah, some heavy steel. Some of that goes short steel. Like that. That's probably actually all. This is probably good enough for short steel. It's, it's thick enough. So that'll increase the value of that a little bit. I, I got. You know, I got to cut. I gotta, I gotta cut all the ends off of these wires and actually see look at this these type of dudes here I can sell them on boardsort.com because those are all gold plated pins I mean it's just that's just gonna be gold plated pins all throughout here just everywhere I look almost this is gonna be all over the place oh, <laughs> as soon as I say that I can't find another one there's one I said there's there's some more See if this dude's got some. Yeah, there's some more. See that? That's gonna be all throughout here. It's just gonna be. I'm gonna have quite a few pounds of gold plated, gold plated pin ends. Just, yeah, there's gonna be quite a few of them dogs in there. So that's a nice score. I, I don't know if I add it all up, it'd be what I say, 880 and two, it'd be 1080, 1130. 1130 and 30, 1165, 1170. I could squeeze $1,200 out of this. Yeah, I, I might be less. I might be hundreds of dollars less because, you know, in order to sell that kind of stuff, I might just have to, you know, lower it, lower the price and get rid of it, especially that film. So, but you know, as it's listed on eBay right now, this stuff, you know. I'm comfortable saying that's that's one thousand two hundred dollars worth of stuff. I mean, I don't got a problem with saying that. Now, when I actually sell it, it might be, you know, a little less than that. But yeah, you know, I, I could conceivably, you know, I, I feel good saying I could get seven or eight hundred dollars out of this guaranteed. I mean, I don't got a problem saying that. Up to, up to you know if I really squeeze it hard I you know I could get I could, I could get twelve hundred bucks you know I mean that's <laughs> it's not you know it's not out of the realm of possibility so definitely in that neighborhood anyway anyway I thought you might enjoy this.